Okay, everybody, it is me and you. I love this part. I really do. We are together again, and uh, we, we have to talk. So, what happened today? We got a pretty big warning, or again, a promise or a threat from the IMF, yet again, downgrading global growth, okay? Yesterday, we heard from the World Bank that the global economy is in dire shape and they downgraded their global forecast. Well, that gets followed up the rear by the IMF and guess what happened? You're never going to guess. There was a stock market rally across the board today. Dow Jones Industrial Average up over 500 points. The NASDAQ, the biggest gainer, over 2%. 10-year yield, 2.94. So you see how it works. As usual, the bad economic news drives the market freaking higher. You can't imagine my shock. That's not a good shock face. How about this? No, that's a terrified face. I can't get a good shock face going. I'm sorry. But imagine, really, where would you, in what kind of alternate reality would really, really bad news on the global economy drive a stock market rally? We're only here, only in this dystopian, uh, twisted environment that we are, uh, we are in currently with, you know, continued round of bad, round after round of bad economic news on the local level here in the United States. Our economy is in free fall. Uh, we have inflation surging at its fastest pace in, in, in history. Uh, food shortages starting to develop around the world and here in the United States. Supply chain disruptions, energy prices out of control. But yeah, higher goes that lovely stock market. I'm so shocked. You have no idea. How about no? No, this market, people, look, for those of us out here who have been taking advantage of the dip in the market, the re this, this corrective phase, we are already reaping the rewards, and you have no idea what's coming down the pike. This market is going to hit new records very soon, and those same people who have been calling for crash every week, every month, they're going to sit back and go, I did it again. I led everyone astray. I made everyone lose. Because that's all they do. They, they're following. Some of these people have bigger channels than I do. Month after month, they're calling for a crash. And month after month, they're wrong. Epic. Epic. Look, I'm not right all the time. You all know that. 90% of my calls are correct. 90. Okay. They're wrong 100% of the time. And some of these guys, well who've been calling for these crashes, some of them aren't even in the market and they admit it. Oh, no, no, can't be in the stock market. It's only the biggest bull run we've ever had in, in the history of the world since 2008. No, 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 stay out of the market. Yeah, you continue to do that. How to work out for all of you who have listened to these freaks? Not too well. How to work out staying out of the cryptocurrency market? Not too well either. Hmm, interesting. But you go over there, you go follow them. Unsubscribe from this channel and go follow those freaks. I'm sure they're going to take care of you like they always do. How about no? All right, look. So, you and I clearly understand what's going on, okay? 10-year yield higher today, 2.94. We're getting above three. You all know that. And the market is going to become orgasmic over it. Let me show you what that looks like. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's what the market's going to do, all right? The market is just rebalancing itself. It pri it's pricing in what is going on. Earnings coming in, imagine my shock, better than expected as well. Not everybody, but in aggregate, uh, I, I did say, I did expect to see an upside surprise. Oh, wow, how is that playing out? Exactly like I said, yes. Anyway, look, people, I'm no smarter than anybody in this, on this planet at all. I just study this stuff, I understand what's going on, and so do you. You know the bigger picture, the bad economic news like we got today from the IMF. Well, what does that mean? Central banks, despite everything else will continue to inflate. This hyper bubble in debt is going to double, double. Okay, they don't give a shit about you or me. They want to continue to inflate and they're going to continue to do so. Look, 
just just to put another perspective on this, in order for the Federal Reserve, okay, we're you know they're trying to convince everybody, oh yes, we are we're gonna raise the federal funds rate and it's gonna combat inflation. We're really serious about it this time. Can't happen without raising the benchmark rate over the current rate of inflation. All it's gonna do is create more inflation. Duh, duh. But. That's the lie that's being sold to everybody. You and I, we ain't buying it. The market's clearly understanding what's going on, and it will continue to, you know, spray its shorts over what is going on here and the expansion of wars, death, uh, people suffering. Oh, yeah. You know, look, the market is a very interesting thing, and it is alive in many ways because it's the collective consciousness of every single participant you and me included even if you don't own a single share of stock you are in it because you transact in federal reserve notes central bank issued notes wherever you live in the world okay you think you're outside the system because you're not in the stock market you are in it deeper than anybody else because you go out, you work for, for central bank issued IOUs that you don't even own. And you do it willingly every single day, setting your alarm clock. <laughs> and then you say, oh yeah, Greg's a bad guy. He's a bad man. He's bad because he's, he's buying the stock market and he's telling people they should buy stocks. He's so bad. Meanwhile, do you know how many people I've probably made rich around the world? Who have now, you know how many people write to me and explain, Greg, you've changed my life. I put my kids through school because of you. I bought my wife a, a present she's wanted. I've done this and the other thing. And that makes me feel damn good. It really does. Make me feel like I'm doing the right thing. Here. All we are doing, okay, uh, yes, we all participate in the freak show, okay, but we can weaponize it, and that's exactly what we are doing. You understand? People look. I don't know how to put this another way. Either you can let the system kill you in the literal sense, or you can do everything in your power. I, I told you the gloves are off right now. I, I don't care what comes down the pike. If something comes my way that I feel that I should take advantage of because there are those who are literally trying to kill me, well, I will do that. Uh, it's not happening to me on my watch or you on my watch, and I think you're all well aware of that. Anyway, did you see gold and silver today? A big reversal finished substantially lower. Look, what are we talking about? We're talking about paper derivatives being dumped onto the market, okay? Uh, and it's an astonishing thing how the hard asset derives value from a derivative. It's an upside down system, but you know that. Cryptocurrency is doing very well today. Crude oil under pressure. All right, you think it's going to last? How about no? What else did we find out today? That President Bidenstein who was supposed to release the oil from the strategic reserves to help the American people. Well, guess what he's doing? He's sending it over to Europe. Oh, yeah. Lovely. How's that, How's that working out for you? Think, you think these lower prices on crude are going to last? Absolutely not. I told you this was a Band-Aid. We're, we're going so much higher with regard to uh, natural gas, crude oil, energy prices overall. Did you get in on energy uh, and producers, oil and gas producers, when I told you to? I hope so, because they have done phenomenal. Our only laggard here, well, we have two laggards here. We have financials, which will recover, and they're already starting to. We got tech, which is so vastly oversold. If you've been buying those dips, you will re reap rewards, trust me. If you're a little patient, you're going to do well. Uh, if you're like one of these... Uh, other freaks out here who just can't wait for, for, for something to develop for themselves. They're going to consist, consistently lose. And then again, they look in the mirror and they go, why are you such a loser? Talking to themselves. Yeah, and they just can't figure it out. They just can't figure it out. <laughs> anyway, people, look. Uh, so that's the story today. The World Bank yesterday and now the IMF today I explaining that the global economy is going to continue to free fall and we get a rally on Wall Street. Absolutely lovely. Imagine my shock. All right, look, I think I covered everything for you. Maybe I went a little off the deep end here, but look, you have no idea what it's like to be me and the criticism I have to hear. 
Uh, and, and then when I turn out to be right, these same people who criticize me, they don't have the common courtesy to say, hey, Greg, you know what? We were wrong, and uh, we should have listened to you. No, no, no. All they know how to do is troll. And, I, and look, I'm trying to help these people. They don't want to be helped. That's fine. Uh, they're going to end up continuing on the, the path, pathway of, of, of just failure. And, and I hate that. I don't think anyone needs to fail around here. I think, you know, we're all given a free will and, a, and, and free choice. But, you know, uh, you have to act on these things here. And you got to understand what you're looking at. If you don't know what you're looking at, realizing in the macro picture that nothing, nothing is what it seems to be. And all you got to do is have a little bit of brain power to see through all this garbage <laughs> and it, everything just becomes crystal clear that's 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 the truth all right look i'm out of here love all of you please share the video see you in the morning